Testing, testing. This is working. Test, 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 test. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Hello. Hopefully everything works well. So on this stream, I want to show two things. So I'm going to test this two new th programs that I'm going to use for the short film. Programs or add-ons, okay. Uh, so changing a little bit my workflow for texturing. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, so the first one, the first software that I want to talk is actually an add-on for Blender, UV Packer for Blender, okay. And it's an add-on that is free. And uh, yeah, it looks very good. Um, I actually use another add-on. Let me go to edit reference. Okay. Um, Add-ons UV. If we look here for UVs. So I'm using the UV Pack Master 2. It it has been working really well. It's a private add-on. Um, I'm not sure how much is it right now, but it's it's not ex very expensive. It's like around twenty dollars or something like that. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. I'm 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 not sure right now, but it's. Yeah, it's good. It's a good add-on, but looks like UV Packer. This is the new add-on that I want to test today. Is actually free, so you can just go here, uvpacker.com, free download, and download the add-on. I already have downloaded and installed it, and now I want to test it. And I'm going to test it here with uh, the rest of you guys. So uh, it looks like it's quite good, and we'll see. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is uh, uh, Marmoset Toolback. Okay, okay use that. that I don't even have downloaded yet. The, 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 so I have the version 3, Marmoset Toolback 3, and I haven't downloaded yet the Marmoset Toolback 4. So I'm just going to download now. And they have a period of 30 days trial. Uh, I wanted to buy it, but uh, I have the Steam version, the three one, the version three. I have the Steam version, and the Steam version have no update yet. So I was waiting for an update for the Steam version, but looks like there will not be a Steam update. They are not using Steam anymore, and you have to buy it online. But apparently, there is still ways to get kind of a discount if you have the old version on Steam. Uh, I have to still figure it out how it works. Anyway, meanwhile, this is downloading. Let's try a UV, pack, uh, UV Packer. Okay. So I'm going to open a model. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to open import. I have a um, OBJ object of the uh, Space Marine somewhere. The space marine folder and we have an object OBJ. So this object should be oh wow wow. What's going on there? It's only half of this. Where is the rest of it? This is definitely a problem with the new version. Import OBJ object because this was working i'm quite sure i know it says lack export okay maybe no i'm quite sure that i have a version of this in obj that was a full space marine hmm, hmm. damn it that's why you have to prepare well, let's try this one. Okay, that looks like it works. I know. Okay, so we should have enough geometry here to test stuff for UV mapping. So if I go to UV editing, oh, by the way, this is quite easy to install. The so UV Packer, I already installed it. UV pack, um, UV packer, uh, UV pack master, 
Oh, yeah, already. Uh, it's the one I use. Normally, this is already installed. It's quite easy to install. Um, just um, go to the website and look at this tutorial. It explains how to do it for Blender. So they have the version for 3D Max and the version for Blender. And the Blender version is the one, obviously. Okay. So, yeah, so we have some geometry here that we can test UV packing. Actually, this too. So I'm going to grab this head. I'm going to join it and I'm going to bring it up. Oh, let's, let's play with it. So we can probably remove that material, create a new one, and assign an image texture. And I'm going to create a new texture and it's going to be. 48 and it's going to be a UV color grid. Okay, so I have the UV color grid. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the basic UV unwrap for Blender. UV unwrap. And it works quite well, but what it doesn't work well is the packer. Okay, so maybe I'm going to change back to black so we can see better the UVs. So the image is going to be a black image. Cool. So here we have the UVs for the Space Marine helmet. And actually I made a mistake because what we want to do before that is UV seams from islands. So now you should be able to see the seams, seam scabs. And where are the seam scabs? Oops. So I see t -t -t -t. edge mark, face mark. So if I make max seam here, so max seam is working, clear seam. Where are the seams UV seams from islands? I select everything UV seams from islands. Yes, it's working, I think. Yes, yes, it's working. Okay, so. Let's UV unwrap that. UV unwrap. Okay, so now we have the UVs coming up working. Okay. The helmet probably looks better when subdivided. Although it's not really very important for this. Cool. So I have the UVs. Maybe I'm just going to change that and I'm going to smart cap. Something that looks cool. Maybe more metallic. Uh, this. And on top of that, we can add the texture. It's too dark. Oh, shit. This one, too shiny. This one, okay. Let's use this one. And maybe a little bit of clarity. Um, it, it's okay. It's like the point is. No, it's looking even worse. Let's let's go this here. Let's go. Let's do it like in the texture shading. <clears throat> so let's pack this. Okay, you will pack now. Let's just press the button. Pack. Do 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 do. do. Waiting, waiting. Zero point six. Uh, mm, enable heuristic. Heuristic um, for this UV packer master. I'm not a super expert of the UV pack master, but there is some tools that are very useful. And one of these is this one, enable heuristic. So what it does, it keeps calculating um, stuff. And so if I pack this, it will keep going and it will try to find like the best, the best solution. Okay. So, and it uses all the devices. So it uses a CPU. So I have three devices. If uh, um, I cannot touch anything now because it's calculating, but you can see like there is three percentage going on. So this is the CPU, the GPU, and the other GPU. I have two 1080s. So it's looking for the best packet results. So so far, I normally give the give it like few seconds to calculate a good result. So 0 0.73 is like 73%. So I press escape to stop the packing. So 70% of um, 
the, of the space use, okay, 73%. Cool, cool, let's try on, on this one. So in theory, that should, okay, so let's just press the button pack and see what happens. So packing complete, complete. 64%, uh, and it's quite fast. So this is set to efficient. Let's change to high quality. Pack again. Packing is complete. Okay. I mean, it's it's good. It's it's better than the um, Blender one. Huh? You know, like Blender one, official Blender one. It's kind of not good. It's very boring to pack all this UVs um, manually. Okay. So if the computer can do it. This is great, but it's, it is, doesn't seem to work really well for this geometry, at least. And we don't have many options, really, so uh, we can give us more rotation freedom. So if I give like, so this is the rot uh, rotation. Okay, so if I give it to infinite, I think this is going to try more packs. So every time you click the button it kind of improved a little bit so the last one was 69 65 69 percent this is kind of the best that it can give me let's see if 65 63 62 percentage but every every time i click it's a little bit different <laughs> that's interesting um i i think that this one this specific uh This specific uh, UV packer, it works really well with a lot of small pieces. So what I'm going to do is UV unwrap the arms. Yeah. Control L, copy materials, hide the rest of the stuff and just have the arms of the Space Marine. So here, what I'm going to do is again, UV seams from island. So it marks the seams from the islands that already have. Remember that this was an import from from um, from an OBJ object, okay, so I can import the model. So I'm going to UV unwrap that. And this is what Blender by default give me. That is quite, okay. So UV Packer, let's try UV Packer with Auristic and you can see the packing device, they have all CPU and two CUDA, two, 1080s, so if I pack this, okay, it's clearly more dense. We have a 0 0.8, so 80% pack here with UV Pack Master, and it keeps going, keeps in, tries to improve you 0.816. So let's see if it finds a better solution. Keeps going, keeps going. Doesn't look like it finds anything better than this. Um, yeah, mm, okay, that's okay. Uh, let's try to, to do it on the UV pack, UV packer. Okay, let's try that. And it gave me a 75%. Hmm. Uh, maybe let me try again. 75, 74, 75, 76, 76, 75, 75. So not better than this. Okay. Um, and this one was working really well. 0.86. So, yeah. Cool. So clearly, this one is kind of working a little bit better. This is the pay one, okay, the UV Pack Master. But this is a free one and it's not bad at all. I don't think it's bad at all. Not at all. It's really good, maybe good solution. Depending what you're doing, doing, it could be better. So this one, let's see, let's UV unwrap this. Uh, UV. Let's do something crazy. Let's gonna merge some stuff. So we join this, this, and the head. And I control join everything and then I go materials. Let's remove 
everything. Okay. So here again, UV seems from island. Just just to make sure that everything is there. UV. I'm gonna UV unwrap. And this is what we have. Okay. Lots of tiny pieces and some big pieces. So this may work better. Well, let's see. So let's start with a UV packer. Okay. So pack. Packing complete, 72.9, so 73% so of the space is used. Okay, not bad. Um, I'm going for high quality and this pack again. This is a little bit more. Oops, this is not good. Okay, that's bad. 75 again. Okay. And now let's try with a UV pack master pack. And it's going for 70, 0 0.78, so 79, 79, almost 80%. Let's give it a little bit more, 79, 796. So it's not bad at all. It's working quite well. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, okay, so there is no many options here, so I cannot show more. But here there is an option that I use a lot. That is, for example, um, that I found that uh, you can improve a lot the uh, UV packing with UV Pack Master, uh, UV, yeah, UV Pack Master too. So normally what I do is I take like the big pieces, okay, not the small ones, and then you try to pack this, yeah, something like this, okay, so you go and pack this, trying to find the best solution for this one, okay, and then what you can do, is invert the selection, control item invert the selection. And then one of the things that is quite useful is pack to others. So basically, like if you um, need to unwrap, um, you unwrap new things and you want to use the space, you can just pack to others and then it kind of force it to, to find a whole, uh, space for those tiny objects. Okay, so let's go and pack. And da, da, da. what I like about this method is that it's kind of um, it it just works for filling all the spaces with small objects. So maybe with this one, it's not it's not working quite well because it's kind of scaling down too much the other objects. So there will be problems with the scale of the pixels. So if I go here on the color grid. Um, not really, I cannot do yes, so you can see that the hands, fingers, that those are like the small pieces, the pixel resolution is not correct, so maybe it's not the best example here. But it's good to have this option when you have tiny objects that you don't know where to put and, and normally packs things better. So, and there is like tons of more options here. Both. UV Packer and UV Pack Master can use um, 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 I will say it um, can use the the UDM, UDM, so creating like a grid of UVs okay but that's interesting because it's actually trying to fill both okay so meanwhile in UV Packer you select what you want to pack and then so heuristic Back to others, no, but you can check here. Uh, what is it? Packing uh, box, packing box. Um, island, island rotation, manual wrapping, block groups, the island thing. 
plugin devices, no? Basic options. It's the Udemy is where no. packing box. Oh, this one. Enable packing box and then you set tile. What tile you want to pack, set tile, and then it's gonna pack everything on there. So I'm gonna pack there. And it's gonna pack all the elements there. Let me do one thing, UV, so normally you want to do uh, average island sky, scale, so to make sure that the scale of those islands are equal, equal. and I'm just going to pack it again, and okay, so good, 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 so this, that's good, so for example, if you want to pack those tab on the first tail here you can say okay just go this part on the first tail pack that uh no didn't i didn't press the button set so now on this one so i'm gonna pack i'm just gonna pack all those objects on there so quite useful hmm. quite useful um yeah, I think this one for being free is great. I don't know why it's free. Maybe the the author probably wants to promote the app, and then there will be later there will be a paying app for this and a free one. But you know, it's great. Like, uh, yeah, it's good. Competition is good, and this those add-ons will work. Uh, basically, they do the same stuff. The pay one right now is better, but this, I think, is one they're going to keep improving it. So, worth trying. And if it's free for people that, you know, don't want to buy it and maybe just, maybe not professionals, more like hobbies, this is great. Great day, safe time saver for hobbies. Okay, so, yeah, UV Packet, really good as well. Cool. So, now I'm going to try... The Marmoset toolbox. So hopefully it's downloaded. I'm just gonna install it because I haven't even tried it. So I'm gonna install. I agree. Next. I don't know how the license is gonna work. We'll see. But I really want to try this one because uh, so far. If you have been see, following my videos and my streams, what I do is I create a model and I pick it on Marmoset Toolback 3. You can probably open Marmoset Toolback 3. Okay, so um, what I do is I use the Baker basically. The Marmoset Baker, uh, it's amazing. Um, and then once I bake all the maps that I want to bake, I use another software that is quite old. Let's call, call it Quixel Suite. Okay, so this is quite old. It's discontinued by Quixel. It, this was before Quixel Mixer and, and Bridge. Um, or, so, yeah. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to get not use that one. Why I'm using this and not Substance Painter? So I'm Substance Painter. I have Substance Painter as well, and I use it sometimes. But I feel like Quixel Suite, it's very easy. Like the library is really good and it's very easy to use. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it looks like for Marmoset Toolback, I will need a new license. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna fill that. Okay, so I think, I don't think I already have, um, oh yeah, let's see. Let's register. Okay, I just created an account. I need to check my email. And I hope I can start my, confirm my account. Your email has been successfully, successfully confirmed. Okay, so here, uh, login. Yeah, so I have this trial period. That should be enough. 
Um, again, um, I want to buy it. Uh, let's see if I can find a solution because I have Marmoset 3 and I know there is a, a up upgrade process that it's like basically the license is a little bit cheaper. Um, they have a subscription license and a pay license and I want to buy the license basically. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so, okay. So basically it's the same stuff. The UI have changed a little bit. It looks like, uh, well, not not much, but it, it changed in terms of it looks different a little bit. Okay, so, okay. Um, so if I open one of the old scenes, I wonder if it works. So I have some scenes, baked scenes here. Oh, what is it? So if I open the frag grenade, for example, um, there is no, no. Let's let's do another another one. Okay, so I'm gonna let's create a new one, a new bake and a new everything, just to test all everything that's compared to the the old one. So what I'm going to do is going to use the frag grenade. Okay. I have the frag grenade object. Should be able to bring it here. Okay, the frag grenade is here. Okay, and I want to bake it, so I'm going to create a new bake. And I just bring this one here and I import the model again and I bring this one here. So if you don't know how to uh, bake with Balmoset toolback, it's just excellent. Um, you can tweak like the offset of the um, what do you call it the cage okay so this needs to be so let's go on desktop create a new folder and call it test set four okay okay so rename it bakes okay save so this space there not too much and yeah so if I go to the baker I'm just gonna bake all the maps uh, I can add more maps here for example position UB island uh, ah, let's do let's yeah that, that should be enough uh, and bake everything and bake so it takes a while to bake, but not too much. And now I should be able to see all the mouse. So this is the normal, obviously normal. There is no difference. This is the wall space normal. Good. Position normal. Good, because we have here like we can. Uh, yeah, we have basically gradient for the positions. That's good. The cavity, um, sorry, the curvature map is always really good on this software. Really nice. And ambient occlusion, bake it as well. And material ID, kind of redundant because there is only one material. But the idea is now I can jump to texture and use texture options. Uh, okay, so how the hell this works? Good question. Um, I may need to, 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 to create a new material. Yeah, in theory, this is quite easy. So a little bit risky for my part. But I think if I can just click and drag materials. Okay, no. First, you have to download the material. Yes, I remember that. Um, maybe not all the materials are free, maybe. How can I know which ones are much free and which ones are not free? For the trial, maybe. Okay, carbon fiber. Download. Hmm. Aluminium foil. Ah, here. Download selected. Okay, download selected. Let's look some of those materials. So we have some metals. I want to have some paints as well. So brush, no, those are brushes, those are materials. 
Okay. Let's have. I don't know. Electric tape. Electrical tape. Well, let's download that. Let's download some plastics. What is this? Glass materials, iron, lava. Okay, let's let's unload lava as well. Just to, oh, here's some leathers, leather all, leather scuffed. What else we have here? Nylon. There is lots of good. They look good so far. I don't know. We have to try. Plastic, let's download this one. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it works. So those are available in theory. So you should be able to just click and drag to the model. And yeah, it works quite well. So here we can tweak the materials, right? Um, so we can change the scale. Oops, no. This is the displacement no displacement um normal okay normal put it like different materials that they have here so let's create a new art material new let's call it okay new material just use that material okay so now i want to create layers add texture project okay and now can I just bring an aluminium? Okay, so I have aluminium. And, but I don't see it on there. Layers, material. Albedo, roughness, albedo, roughness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's create another material like this one, for example. I have to hmm. so what are those layers are the layers of the material oh, interesting I really should have tested that before going stream but yeah let's go crazy and do it okay so texture project is there okay it's interesting it's like oh oh I see so I have to assign the, the the maps again. Normal, normal, normal object, normal object, material ID, spot. Let's do it. Amir occlusion, Amir occlusion. Okay. Um, and add position. There is no position map. By the way, we should be able to go with the normal object okay so now hmm, this is on the texture project okay uv padding 16 i'm not sure metalness okay output okay output and this is what we have i'll be the normal mix map mix oh that's cool so we can create a mix map that have in the red channel it have the ambient occlusion in the green channel have the roughness in the blue channel have the material metal that's really really cool so it's for for games it's great like most of the games they do that um, not much for rendering and stuff but that's really really cool okay smart mask so let's say I want this dust mask. I have to download it again. I guess you can create masks as well, eventually. You can create your own mask. So let's apply this mask to the aluminium. And it works. And it works using those maps. Right? Okay, and how can I apply this to my model? Uh, maybe I have to bring the model again here. Okay, 
exit project. Um, main common. Close it. What was that? Mask. Okay. Layer settings. Mask. Mm, just something wrong here. Okay. This mask is cool. But where where I can see it on the model? Something is going wrong. So I see this, that's great. It's, it's kind of working. Okay, wait, now I am using on that mask. Oh, I see. So I was using, I really was using this one. So let's add this one then. No. Doesn't want to. Material 03. Material 03. So, okay, don't use that material. Or use that material, I don't know. Uh, okay, so material 03. That's the material that this model is using. I'm going to add again this base metal and this aluminium cor corroded. On, in this one, I'm going to try to add a mask. kind of not working really because that material is not using the maps that I bake. Doesn't use material ID really not in a question. Yes. Okay so maybe get rid of this, get rid of that. And try again this. Oops, no, get rid of this. Yes. Control Z. Uh, Texture Project 2. That is getting weird. I want to get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And make sure that this is using that material. Double click layers. Of two projects, oh, yes, a texture project, another texture project. Hmm. What? Uh, I don't know. Let's try to paint something. So, in theory, there is all these amazing brushes that you can paint stuff. So, let's download one of those. Mm. Ah, okay. So here are the texture projects. Can I paint? Or can I add? Add paint layer. Ah, add paint layer. Oh, okay. So in the paint layer, I guess I can paint. Hmm. Sure, what's going on? Paint layer. Paint. No. I'm just creating paint layers. Clear content, add a mask, add layer. Uh, let's see what it is. I'm gonna get rid of those materials. Remove, 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 remove. Before, I'm gonna create a new material and I'm gonna add it to this model. I don't think it's doing anything. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm gonna remove this texture project as well. 
let's try again texture new material that is going to use here mm. okay i'm going wrong again new material i want to use this one it's ignoring me okay let's use the material three so material three um layers at the texture project and try let's try again okay so it's not that intuitive the i was thinking that it will be way more easy to do this oh well let's try okay so mm, mm, mm. it looks like the maps are working let's try the lotus again material the redonita ambient occlusion yes Okay. So smart mask. Let's add this corroded aluminium and use the smart mask. Bring it to this layer. Kind of works. Yes, it's using the those using is using the maps from here. So the maps that I bake but it's not applying there, it's not applying there, because things, okay, things, what things? Apply selected, because it seems to work. Okay, so this is the aluminium mask. Mm -hmm. I really want to see that on a 3D model. Why would you do that? Maybe here, oh no. What's the point? There is something that missing here, maybe. So let's check the wiki. If there is no wiki, I really like to use like manuals, like tutorials and resources to like tutorials. But I don't want to have a video tutorial, I just want to read what I have to do. Hmm. Okay, texturing a monkey. You have the model. You add a color, creating a texture project. Uh, to start texturing, you will need to create a new texture project. I use it. I use the texture project for each texture set, which made it quickly easy to change between them. And if, if in the in the scene in the scene hierarchy. Oh, okay, so he's creating all this texture project. Okay, the character scene was in constant iteration, so it's not best example to man of managing texture set. However. Just for reference, uh, a two texture set for the skin head and another for the fabrics. Okay. I don't want to see videos, I just want to read. Damn it. Okay. Time to figure it out by myself. Um, well, cool thing. By click and drag here to the model, it actually works. And 
and I can play, I think, here, uh, uh, not the metalness, but for example, cont increase this. I can make it more rough. Increase the normal. I don't see any change here, really. I see a change there, but not in the render. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Texture project. I have this texture project that looks amazing, but I don't know how to use it on the 3D model. Just use that. If I bring that here, it's really ignoring me. Hmm. Well, that's not good. But let's find uh, let's so these layers. Albedo, okay, albedo, roughness. So you can see it here. Metalness, palm map, and I mean occlusion. Albedo, okay, it's great. It's looking good, it's looking good. I have faith in you. Now, okay, no, no, that's not it. Apply this to the model. Mm. Not really why. Color map, canvas. Mm. Very, very disappointing. No one in the comments. Not really. Ah, pa, 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 come on. There must be a way to look at the material. So I know that there is a way to paint. So. There must be a way to see the textures on the model. Oops. Wrong, wrong window, sorry. <sighs> Well, uh, at least the texture library looks great. I can tell you that. And if I manage to make it work, this probably will be my new texturing tool. Like almost 100% sure. Um, but I just don't know how to work, make it work, make sure. I should change that. Okay, um, how to assign those textured projects to the model. We use that uh, to for the model or materials. So if I have a material, then that's great. How this material can be used. Now the, this is gone and I don't know why. Damn it. Okay. Oh, so if I select the texture project, this comes here. So one thing is a texture project. If I select other stuff, there is no lay. Oh, may maybe. Okay. I don't know, maybe. So I'm gonna hide everything. I'm gonna hide this group. Okay, the bay group is hiding. Have this one, and on this one, duplicate. Okay, is what you know? No, wait. Okay, now. Now use this. Yeah, just creating new materials. I don't know. Material 
use the texture project. Texture project looks amazing. <laughs> looks actually really cool. And the layers, you can paint the layers. So, so this like, okay, let's do it without knowing what I'm doing actually. So I let's download some dirt. I think what I should be able to filter. Open local directory. Make sure I'm going use your heart reset. No. Um, so this one, let's make some, some oil. Uh, no, we just want to make this layer separate. Okay, electric tape. Okay, so this one I can again remove it. Now I'm gonna use another mask, mark mask. Let's use dirt fine mat. Let's use mat. Download this one. Use that small material there. And kind of looks weird. What is this? Albedo uh, variation. Okay. It's hard to see what's going on without looking at the model. But let's change that. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is the map. This is the variation. Okay, contrast, don't touch the contrast. Round scale, ah, okay, so I can change that a little. Oh, that's good. Probably I will need to check the scale of the imported objects from Blender, but yeah, that's good. Like, like the scale is tiny here. Okay, so I have this, this, and bottom mass. Um, really? Ah, bottom mass. It doesn't look like it's affecting. Oh, that was the mask. I don't think I made this mask. Variation. Okay, that was affecting the variation. Ah, okay, so that's why. So variation and contrast. Okay. Mask. Okay, and this one. Okay, just make it less. Contrast intensity, I can reduce the intensity. That's good. So you want to make it a little bit there. Contrast. Sharpness. Okay. That's really, really cool. So you can tweak all those here and it's quite, yeah, quite good, quite intuitive. So those are the masks affecting this. This is the color, I guess. Contrast. So I can, ch can I change the color? Oh yeah, I can change the color here. Ooh, ooh. Can I add a texture here? Instead of using color. That would be cool. Texture. Oh, yeah. So let's go. I have some textures. You know. Let's use a texture. Let's use this one, for example. So I have a collection of textures from textures.com, CG textures. So I can use that texture as a. Perfect and change the color maybe. Doesn't don't think oh it's affecting that. Okay, that's cool. Oh wait. So 
it's looking good. But how I can you see that on the 3D model? And I really want to paint with the brush. So not this brush. And double click, yes, no. I wonder if also this is ready to export actually. This is already ready to export. And I just need to export out desktop output. Maybe just desktop just bring it I'm trying to find the tech the test okay the folder plots and save oh name it yes cool so on blender file new oh, save file import object and I'm gonna use this same object left frag grenade so the frag grenade is imported it's tiny that's why probably it's not working not there but anyway so I can just grab go here bring that oops bring that down Okay, and now go to shading, get rid of this, and bring the materials that I just baked. Hmm, funny, I cannot export, probably because it's the because it's uh, oh wait I don't know yeah you can export I didn't press the button cool so TGA bring the albedo okay bring that there and we have the texture albedo that I was just working on normal map bring it here non color data Change vector to normal map. Connect that there, connect that there. And now we should have a little bit of normal map. Disconnect the albedo and make it. Okay, yeah, you can see the normal working. And increase the intensity a little bit just to make it more obvious, but yeah. It's working and it looks yeah, really good. The library of materials is quite cool. I change to cycles and I create a light source. Cool. And we have the mix map. Mix map, I will need to change that to non color data and separate. Converter and I separate. X, Y, and Z, it doesn't really matter what you separate. So here we have amino occlusion, looks like roughness, and this will be metallic, maybe. Looks kind of right. Okay, so yeah, it's it's actually quite good. The only problem, again, is how the heck works on here. Hmm, mm -mm. Hey, hello, Danker boy. Um, have you tried this software? I'm trying to figure it out how it works. Uh, so this is great. How can I apply this to the model? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, this button. Oh, okay. So stupid. 
yeah link materials okay ah uh, let's link it to the material okay so you have to press the button link material to the material tree or whatever so for example if i create a new add new material and i apply this to this one and then i can press this it's automatically link it to okay okay i get it now i get it and now can i paint here oh that's really cool so you make a selection here and the selection is um it tells you what you have selected on the uvs oh, 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 oh that's nice so if i can for example make like a line here nice noise okay so i have a selection now can i paint tool settings history scene history oh wow so there is all this history there okay um, scene i really would like to know how to paint but probably it's you need to create let's uncheck that let's need grab another material one of those that i have downloaded anything it doesn't really matter something different um, plastic one again Did I, oh lava okay let's let's apply lava here okay lava lava it's working here look at this lava nice 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 cool um so this lava map i'm gonna add mask paint mask paint mask paint mask white paint mask black black okay so now if I double click maybe on this one, okay. Oh, so. the paint. Uh, with this brush, oh, brush. Not quite working. Um, paint layer. Um, ah, okay, here. No. Oh, do you paint? There is the option to paint, but I don't know what to use it. Uh, mask. So we have this mask and it's using a paint layer. The paint layer is not using... Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. When I have selected the paint layer, I have here the paint. Oh, nice. Nice. And... I want to use this brush. Oops, it's frozen now. Oh no, no, it's, it's working. Now it's working with this brush. I don't know how I made that. But it's working. And it's it's really responsive and really nice and fast, really. This is really good, really good texture software. Fast and easy. That's yeah, probably subset is as well. I don't know. Um I feel like when Substance Painter, I feel like it, it's a little bit slower. I don't know why. Okay, so I think I get it now. So I'm just going to remove everything and I'm going to try to make a real good texture. So materials, I'm going to start with the aluminium thing. Okay, that's cool. And here scale can i change the scale this material it's kind of important to be able to change the scale i can see that you can offset that's cool offset on b offset yeah that's cool you can rotate the map so that's really cool and this maybe is the scale Yes, 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 yes. So you increase the number of of things going on there. Okay. So 
Okay, metal, that's good. Roughness. Yeah, it should be right. The, the ambient occlusion, like the normal map, you can change the intensity. Really well, really cool. That's that's really cool, actually. So, um, yeah, basically what I want is to re reduce a little bit the, this um, strength of the normal map. That's really cool. Okay, aluminium, that will be the base for this metal. And I'm going to add a little bit of corrosion, so just bring it there. And corrosion, I want to add more, I want it to be more detailed, so I'm going to scale it a little bit. How this works with seams, like, it looks like no, there is like some stretching here, and you can clearly see the seam. It would be really nice if it fixed the seams by itself, no, but that would be too good. And that's what's looking good, good. Okay, so on this one, I can use a smart. Let's download this one. Oh, I think you should download all the masks. But you're going to use it for sure. This one as well. So I'm going to add a general dust smart material here. Okay, it's kind of looking good. And variation. You can just double click on the variation. No. Offset the variation. Uh, scale it. Make it smaller, but I want to make it bigger. What's more? I don't know. And dust. Dust works. Like on the cavities. Using the amino occlusion and all that. It's, yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm happy with this. Uh, let's add a pain mask. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so we have a nice variation there. Um, smart materials. Oh, so I have already a lot of smart materials here. Uh, that's great as well. Okay, materials. Let's bring some paint. Let's see if I can create some paint. Plastic looking paint. Iron painted. Uh, let's do this one. And what else? Plastic, some leather, not really nylon. Nylon strap, paint glossy, paint stain, paint flat, paint cracking, paper, patina. That looks good. Okay, let's all of this one. Something that is very important as well is like the ID maps for this one. I really haven't done any ID maps, so it's kind of my mistake. It was like a simple. Okay, so I can bring that up. Cool. So I have the paint on top of everything. Now with the smart mask, I can use the scratches thing. Scratch this paint. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely good. Nice, nice, it's really good. Um, so you have some scratches. You can control the scratches. Oh, that's that's great. So if you want the scratches to be bigger, 
just increase the size a little bit. Oh, decrease, sorry, the size. So they will be bigger. If you want to, there is a lot of contrast. Increase the mask a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Look at that's nice. And uh, then we have some edges. The edges, oh, okay. So we have some occlusion. Intensity. And reduce the intensity of the occlusion. Oh, well, that's really good. That's really good. And if there is an area that you really want to have, uh, uh, like something like you can. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a little bit late now. But I'm really happy with this tool. I'm definitely going to buy it. But let's have to figure it out how it works with the license thing. Looking good. Um, Blakes. This one is that the one I don't like. I may just make it very big. And I don't like it. Maybe that's just a little bit, but yeah, that's cool. So for this one, can I, I can actually tweak in the like okay the parameters, so I can make the normal more intense. Let's try this. So you can see the the pores of the paint. So if I reduce them, that's freaking good. That's really good. That's really good. Um, yeah, that too basically give you everything you need to work fast texturing assets like this i mean if you're gonna make a character and paint the character with a lot of details the skin and everything maybe substance is better but this is really good this is really good for assets like this texturing assets like this Yeah, I'm really happy. And you have a collection of textures here that looks really good. Um, some I really downloaded because I guess those are the ones that you use for the. But you can configure it new smart materials, right? So let's bring one of those smart materials. See how they look like this paint concrete, metal molten. Okay, so oops, I have to download it. That is cool as well. Like, so probably they're gonna keep updating the library, and you just need to download it. Ah, this is those are the filters. Okay, right. So this is online. Those are the ones on my computer, I guess. Yes. And this is everything. Oh, nice. Right? And this is the ones that you make. Cool. Simple stuff, but they thought about everything. Looks really good. So I'm gonna get rid of those and look at this. Really cool. And I guess you can open that and tweak it. That's great. That's really, really great. Um definitely for texturing you will need. So in conclusion for this video, um you really want to have for UV mapping one of those two, you have money, I recommend you to buy the UV pack master two. If you don't want to spend money, use the free one UV packer really good as well. This would save you a lot of time. UV packing stuff. Then this is for, yeah, this is paying me. This is paying like, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, we'll use, I'll, I'll just gonna use this one for texturing from now on. Um, I already use this for baking the normals, and it's the best. There's one for baking, uh, making the normals and making everything, making all the maps that I want. Okay, all the cavity stuff, I mean, occlusion, everything. And then, yeah, so it 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 changed quite a lot my 
workflow right now like i was using quixel suite that it's kind of an old plugin for photoshop that is kind of not working really well uh, anyway so this is definitely going to be uh, the new way to texture for me assets like this so yeah really really nice um thanks for watching and leave a comment or whatever yeah thank you bye bye <laughs>